If you own a business or you're an entrepreneur, this video is for you. The sales funnel, what the heck is it and how can you actually use it for your business? Now, if you want more visitors, more leads and more customers using automation, the sales funnel is an easy way for you to set up a simple system for your business and get better results online. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through the few steps on how to set up the sales funnel and actually use it for your business. Now, this is the full funnel here that I wanna show you. And really what it is, is a, a plan. How can you draw in a new visitor? How can you build some sort of relationship with them? And then how can you sell them on your product or get them to buy without being a salesperson, right? And this is the key. The future is all about education and providing value. Here's a business that we recently worked with that increased by 69% after we implemented the sales funnel. Now they already had a strong foundation. They had marketing going, they had advertising going, they had a website, they had some email campaigns going, but what they didn't have is the full picture system after somebody would come and visit their website. And that's what I want you to think about for your business. What is something that you can do to automatically follow up with your new visitors? Now, did you know the average website only gets a 1% conversion rate? What happens to the other 99%? And that's where the sales funnel comes in. It takes somebody, grabs them by the hand, builds a relationship with them, and allows you to automatically follow up with them because you have that simple system in place. Now, step number one, you have to become the educator. What I find a lot of times is people posting sales, social media posts, email campaigns with a sale trying to promote. All I see is promotion, promotion, promotion. Well, in order to stand out, be different, and become the authority, you need to become the professor in your industry. You need to be the teacher, the educator, the one that's out there helping, providing value to your audience. You can do this numerous ways through videos, podcasts, and blogs. Now from there, you start educating, you provide value, you're the one that's out there helping, your potential visitors can see that. Now they're gonna start wanting to click on your links, start seeing your videos, start wanting to go to your website. Well, what we always suggest is creating a lead magnet, something in order to try to get their email address or a page that they can go into that is high value. Since you're the professor, you're the educator, you need to give your students a handbook. You need to give them their course outline. You need to give some, them something for free in exchange for their details so they show up on cl to class and they have the right information. That's why a professor gives out the books in the curriculum at the beginning of the year. That's what the lead magnet is for. Can you give them a PDF? Can you give them a demo? Can you give them something of high value that will coach them and teach them so then they understand this journey? From there, you're gonna be able to follow up with them which is the key because we remember only 1% actually make a decision when they visit your website. But what you can actually increase that to is 30% if you follow up from this lead magnet. And that's really the key. How are you gonna be able to follow up with people? And how you are, step number three, is by following up through different channels. You wanna be omnipresent. You want people to remember you. So once they come to that lead magnet, get their email address here, right? So we want to get their email and then that way you can send automated email follow-ups in exchange for my best offer. I'm going to educate you and help you even more here. Give me your email and I'll follow up. You'll also want to set up retargeting pixels through Google, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. So when they do visit this page, you can automatically follow up with them with the different advertising channels. Once they hit that lead magnet, you want to direct them to your website. Hey, if they want to buy, let them go buy. They come to the lead magnet. You give them something of high value, let them go by. Then you want to follow up via email. And I suggest seven times. Now, remember the old salespeople back in the day, they would call someone seven times before the deal would actually happen. Well, I think us business owners have gotten lazy and we don't follow up with people like that. We think they're going to flood to our website, sign up and pay us. And that's all we have to do. When all reality, it's easier than ever to follow up, but we're missing the mark. So you need to be able to follow up seven times with somebody to build that relationship. They don't know you. They don't trust you yet. That's what's going to give you that 30% conversion rates. They're going to come back and pay you when they're ready as long as you follow up through emails. 
Then you want to add them to some sort of group. If you have a Facebook group, this is great. If you want them to just follow you on LinkedIn, that's great. But something to where they're seeing that you're out there networking and helping people. For me, I invite people to subscribe to me on YouTube, which by the way, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me and comment new if you're new to my channel so I can send you this full sales funnel guide that we have on our website. So you want to follow up with them through social media so you can invite them to wherever you're the most active at. So where do you post the most? Where do you have a community of your clients? Um, wherever people are talking about you or you're interacting with people, where do you comment the most? You want them to see that you're out there providing value, but you're also showing that you care back to your audience. This way, it starts building trust and you start building that relationship for step number four. Step number four is now they're getting your emails and now they're seeing your social media channels and they've already been to your website. So now it's time to throw some ads on there. Retargeting ads. You Have you ever talked about a Nike shoe and all of a sudden you see that Nike shoe all over the place? Well, now with thanks to AI and I've got more training videos on advertising in my channel, you can automatically retarget anybody from even what they've searched for in the past. So if I've searched for pizza in the past, whether I say it now or I search for it now or I just search for it in the past, I can run a local pizza campaign on Facebook and Google because they know that I like pizza. Think about your business. What are your customers? What have they searched for in the past? You can start those retargeting ads. So now they're seeing you everywhere. They're seeing you in email. They're seeing you on social media and they're seeing you on ads to show that you're the authority. You're the one out there providing value. And then from there, people will start signing up. It's not gonna happen overnight. You have to build relationships. You gotta show that you're the authority. You gotta prove that you are the expert out there helping people, providing high value strategies or offerings, whatever you offer. Show that you care because you're interacting with them. Follow up via email to remind them of how much value you're providing them. And when they are ready, and once they learn more about you, and once they trust you, they'll come back and they'll buy from you. And that's the key. How can you follow up with somebody multiple times so they trust you automatically using marketing automation? Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it brought you a ton of value. I'd love to hear more about your business in the comments below so I can check it out. But either way, go click on the link in the description. Leave a comment new if you're new to my channel. Get this strategy for your business. Implement a simple follow-up system. You'll see your conversions skyrocket from there. Thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.